Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here. As always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Hey, happy Easter weekend, everybody. This is time to, you know, normally be with friends, family, and of course, God. And we'll have to kind of figure out other ways of getting together and doing that stuff. It's definitely... The corona is definitely changing everything in life. But you know, there's something good that's kind of coming about with having this. And that's realizing the things that are important. You know, it's, it's nice to be wealthy and have a whole lot of money and this, that, and the other. And you know, I feel like I'm wealthy, not not with money. I'm a broke ass. Don't, don't think I'm saying I got money because I don't. Um, but wealth goes beyond monetary value. And what you realize, I've got a friend that, that has tons of money, but rarely has ever been happy because he's been so focused on just making money that he's lost sight of friendship, family, and relationships. And see, the amazing thing about money is, yeah, it's great to be able to go do stuff, but right now you can't really do much, no matter how much money you have. We're all sitting at home, and this is where you realize what the real wealth is. And that's the family and the friends that you have around you. And from that standpoint, I am the richest mother humper out there. Seriously. I have so many great fans and friends that, you know, you guys feel like family to me. Even some of you Eagle fans. You know, Philly 500, I always say, he's like that uncle that you always tell to keep the kids away. You know, Philly's like that, that, that kind of family. And you know, some of you other Eagle fans, you're kind of like that aunt with the mustache. She's always saying, come give me some sugar, honey. Give me some sugar. And you're like, ah, you got a mustache. No, but seriously, all jokes aside, what you... Going through something like this teaches you that you don't need as much stuff as you really think you do. Y am I making any sense on that? And see, for me, it's really about the relationships and things. You know, when I see Miss Jackie sends me a message in the morning that says good morning, or I see my, my, my crew, you know, Jet and Q and... Um, PC 76 and they've been talking and have Marco Polo messages and I see I got 89 of them when I wake up in the morning I'm like damn do you guys ever sleep or when I have great fans that send me stuff I, I meant to open this up during my live stream but I, I, I I've just been out of it the last couple of days and things so I apologize but Michael wanted to send me this and I'm opening this up for the first time right here and he's told me that he was making this. And, and I, I, I'm going to have to send him, although the work he's done, I, I don't even want to embarrass myself with sending him my crap. Because this is night and day different than what I do. But he has something that I dream about actually having. And that's a CNC machine. And this is what I hope to be able to get one of these days. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm rich, bitch! Look at that. The stars are Jobu stars. And they're... Kid, kid. Okay, the light's not good out here. The stars are cut into this with the CNC machine. And you see the Joe Boo labels. Freaking incredible. I look a little fat there. That Brian De La Rosa. See, th this is the thing that, that makes me realize how rich I am. Because it's the relationships. Because, see, this was Brian De La Rosa who, when my channel got shut down, my old channel... He started promoting me and doing this meme of me and things. In fact, Brian is the one who's done most of the designs for me because when you see um, this Joe Blue Star, that's Brian De La Rosa. When you see Keep Your Ass at Home, that's Brian De La Rosa. 
And I always say every day that without you guys, I can't do it because it's not just about me. It's about all of us here together doing this stuff. Michael, oh, dude, this is freaking incredible. Look at this. I can't wait to put this up. I, I need a bigger, I need a bigger man cave. See, that's where I really need to be wealthy so I can. Let's see. Can, can you guys see that there? Look at that. And that's what I'm talking about with what's important in life. It's not about necessarily having, now, now, we, now don't get me wrong. We all need money to survive. <laughs> Believe me, we need money to survive. But in life, it's about the journey. It's about those relationships. It's about when you go home at night and you having that person that you can share everything with, that you can trust. It doesn't mean you always get along. Because you, you, you guys know. You, you guys know that if you've been married or had a significant other, you know that there, there's times that no matter what you do, you're going to be in the doghouse. But you appreciate the fact that you're in that doghouse with that person. And so as we go through all this, it's hard. But we're going to be okay. And I know some of you guys don't like to talk about this and you just want a distraction. But for me, I'm looking at this as an opportunity to make myself a better person. To do what I can to help my fellow man or woman. And to reach out and communicate with you guys. And to me, I don't need anything else. That's what makes me happy. Well, that and I hope that we still have a football season thus far the hall of fame game hasn't changed yet and why change it right now because it's still months down the road there's been some progress you know that seems to be we're, we're hitting kind of a peak there's going to be some other places that that are going to rise up but it seems like new york is kind of slowing down and knowing the nfl that nothing stops the nfl nothing Nothing. Not anthem protests, not concussions, so far not even the corona. If any sports league will figure out how to get this done, it'll be the NFL. It'll be the NFL. I'm telling you, I have faith in having a season because I think the NFL and politicians realize the power of sports. They may not be perfect, but there's a lot of good that happens because of sports. Now, as the teams get ready for the draft, it's going to be fun. I, I, I literally can't wait because I'm just waiting for somebody's feed to go down. I'm waiting to see Roger Goodell get up there and all of a sudden make the pick and all of a sudden it, it freezes up. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm waiting. And, and like I said, listen, if there's a hacker out there who can hack into the Eagles feed and put a, a, a clip of Carson Wentz fumbling over and over again in, dude, I will send you all kinds of Joe Boo gear because that would be freaking hilarious to have that go out in the feed. But to see teams to have war rooms that are multiple living rooms across the NFL, it's going to be kind of fun. And I'm actually really looking forward to this. What are the Cowboys going to do? Who knows what the hell the Cowboys are going to do? I think that they're going to go, I think they're going to look to go outside linebacker, edge rusher. But I also think that they're going to be looking for the best player available. Um, they've gone through and systematically, in free agency, try to fill as many holes as possible. And I think they've actually done a pretty good job with what they've done. Um, I don't think they're completely done in free agency. I could see them still making a move or a trade because I feel like the Dallas Cowboys, if we have a season this year, that the Cowboys are going to be all in to try and make this thing happen. It's a tall task. It will be a tall task. So that's about all I got for you guys tonight. But damn. Mark Holmes and Cowboy Joe Boo. JSR. That's nice. That just makes me want to get that CNC machine that much more. <laughs> I got to get that damn thing. All right, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm going to go in here. 
and I'm going to relax for a little bit, and I'm going to go to bed. Hope you guys had a great day. Take this opportunity to reflect, to spend time with the people that you love, and realize what's important in life. Because when this thing's done, it'll be time for us to get back to normal. And you take these lessons and you can put them into the rest of your life as a learning experience. All right. I'll see you guys soon. I'm rich, bitch! <laughs>